Hello everyone, let's continue on with the description of the toolbox. The tools found in the toolbox are probably the most frequently used tools. From this panel, you will select your objects, access edit properties, access different views, measure elements, load images, load hoops, and transform elements. It is a very important uh, to get familiar with each tool in the toolbox. Um, here's a little description of all the tools available in this panel. First of, up here, of all up here, uh, the selection tool. You use this tool to select objects in a design by left mouse clicking on them, just like this and I will select that entire area. Your lasso tool. The lasso tool is used to select objects in a design by drawing a circle around the entire object you want to select. So I grab onto the lasso tool. Any complete object in that area by right clicking will, uh, uh, will display as being selected. Now, below that is your selection, or excuse me, your shape tool. Uh, once an area is selected, you use the shape tool to edit outlines, angle lines, and start and stop points. So by clicking on the shape tool, you'll see that I now can edit the outlines of the structure. I can move, change outlines. I can change angle lines, start points, which are always green. End points are always red. I can move them anywhere in the design that I desire. The shape tool is just a great function. Uh, the slice tool, you're going to use this tool to split one element into two or more. We'll get back into that a little later. Uh, the stitch tool, this is your slice tool right here. The stitch tool, down below that, you use this tool to select individual stitch points in a design element, basically stitch editing. By clicking on the stitch tool, one of the really nice things with Floriani software, uh, at least for me, is when you are going into stitch edit, uh, without clicking anything, as you get close to a stitch, uh, uh, it will highlight. See how that little black dot is already highlighted? It has already grabbed that individual stitch at this point. I can left click on it. I can move it. Uh, you can do an awful lot with the stitch tool. Again, we will get into a more detailed explanation of into all of these tools as we move on through the videos. Uh, next is your zoom tool. You use this tool to zoom into objects for a better view. So they click on it, come into the area you want to zoom into, left click, hold, simply drag, and you can zoom into any given area area. Uh, your pan tool, a real helpful tool. Your pan tool you use to move the position of your work area on the screen. So click on the pan tool, you have this little hand on the screen, left click, move it, and you can move uh, the design around, basically panning again through any area on the work screen. Uh, your ruler tool, you use this tool to measure elements in your design. I love the ruler in Floriani software. Uh, we'll get into that certainly in much, much greater detail. Uh, below the ruler tool, you have your backdrop tool. Your backdrop tool is used to open an image from your computer in the work area. Now, this is certainly how you input all of your JPEGs, bitmaps, all backdrop files. Uh, we do also work with vector-based files. I will get into that a little later and show you how you import vector-based uh, artwork. We'll go ahead and close that out. Underneath the backdrop tool, and let's just go ahead and fit the window with this image. Again, you have your 3D view. Your 3D view is right here. This icon, you use this toggle or this tool to toggle between the normal and the 3D version of your design. Simply click on it and it will make the design appear 3D indeed. Uh, your grid view. The grid is a very, very helpful tool. We'll get into that certainly much more. You use this tool to turn the grid view on and off. Uh, simply left click on it, up comes your grid. Left click on it again, the grid will disappear. Down below that, you have your stitches view tool. You use this to turn the stitches view on or off. On, it shows the stitches. Off, it shows only the outlines of the object. Very, very helpful in the editing process. Uh, down below that, you have your stitch end view. We'll go ahead and regenerate the stitches. I'm going to go ahead and turn the 3D off for this. Uh, when you click on the stitch ends, you use this tool to turn the stitch ends view on and off. On it, you will see everywhere the needle penetrates the fabric. So when I left click on it, what you're looking at now is needle penetration. A very, very helpful tool, especially as we learn to measure our embroidery designs. I use the uh, stitch ends view uh, quite a lot when I'm reviewing people's work. Uh, down below that is your commands tool. Uh, the commands tool is used to turn the commands view on and off. When on, it will show trims and where the first and last stitches are located throughout the design, as you see on the screen right now. Below that is your hoop tool. Your hoop tool is used to select or create a hoop for your project. By left-clicking on it, 
We have many, many of the hoops within our industry. Certainly, if you do not see your hoop located in here, you can indeed come in and click on new, put in your own information in there, and then save it. It then becomes part of the uh, program. Uh, down below the hoop tool, you have your backdrop tool. When you have a backdrop image on the screen, you use this to turn the backdrop image view on and off. Again, we're going to get into these areas much, much more in detail. This is a quick overview of all of the toolbars. We're going to go ahead and move on with further, further explanations of the other toolbars. Um, have a great one, folks. Hugs and stitches to you all again.